So this one is polynomial long division level three from Delta Math. And the question is, what is the result when x cubed plus five x squared minus 22 x plus one is divided by x minus three? If there is a remainder, express the result in the form q of x plus r of x over b of x. So there's going to be a remainder. I purposely chose this one so that you can see how to set up your answer when you have a remainder. And it's pretty much the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor. Divisor is just what we're dividing by. So the x minus 3. So we're going to use long division. We're going to put x minus 3 on the outside and this polynomial on the inside. <clears throat> and now the first step is to divide. So we look at the x and the x cubed, the first terms. So x into x cubed, or you can say x times what will give you x cubed? Well, x times x squared. So let's put x squared right there. I like to put it above the like term. The next step is to multiply. So we're going to multiply x squared times this whole thing, x minus 3. So x squared times x minus 3, and write your answer right below. So x squared times x is x cubed, and x squared times uh, negative 3 is minus 3x squared. And the next step is to subtract. So let's put our parentheses around this entire polynomial to show that we are subtracting each like term from each like term. We're not going to forget and add vertically and end up with the wrong answer. So we're going to do x cubed minus x cubed, which is 0, 5x squared minus negative 3x squared. Negative and a negative means positive, so we're going to do 5x squared plus 3x squared, which is 8x squared, and bring down the minus 22x. And we repeat the process again. Start with division. The first term into the first term. So what is x into 8x squared? Or you can ask yourself, what do I have to multiply x by to get 8x squared? 8x. Good. So now we multiply 8x times this whole thing, x minus 3. So what is 8x times x minus 3? And write your product down here. So 8x times x is 8x squared. 8x times a negative 3 is negative 24x. Let's subtract. 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0. Negative 22x minus negative 24x. Well, this becomes addition. It's like a double negative, you know? Getting rid of a bad thing. Well, that's a good thing. So negative 22x plus 24x, that's 2x. You got it. And then we bring down this plus 1. And let's repeat one more time. Just keep doing this. Divide, multiply, subtract. Divide, multiply, subtract over and over and over. Okay, so x into 2x, well, x times 2 is 2x, so we put our plus 2, and now we multiply, right? After you divide, you multiply. So 2 times x minus 3, 
2 times x is 2x, and 2 times a minus 3 is a minus 6. And let's subtract. So what's 2x minus 2x? 0. And 1 minus negative 6, which is equivalent to 1 plus 6, which is 7. So we have a remainder, people. So how do we write our final answer when we have a remainder? Well, we put the quotient, which is this piece up here, x squared plus 8x plus 2 plus 7 over x minus 3. So it's like you go in this big little loop here. So it's this plus this over this. This whole top piece plus, and you make a fraction out of it, okay? If this was a negative number, we would say minus 7. Since it's a positive remainder, we say plus 7 over whatever our divisor was, okay? And this is our answer. There you go.